Hi there, boys and girls. Pelican Land owes a big debt of 50 bushels of corn to the neighboring land of Swanya. The corn is all collected, and this is the big payoff day. shipment of corn has disappeared. It was put in the vault this morning. Oh, why, this could boon Pelican Land if we don't find it. Oh, we owe 50 bushels of corn to the neighboring state of Swania. And if we don't pay that debt by midnight tonight, the swans will take over our country. Oh, I'd better summon the Lord High Chancellor at once. Oh, if we don't find that corn, Pelican Land is ruined. This is dreadful, Your Excellency. We might as well turn everything over to the King of Swanya right now. He won't accept any excuses. If you wish, Your Excellency, uh, I can deliver the papers to the King of Swanya right now before there's any trouble. No! No, no! What we have to do is to find that 50 bushels of corn and pay the debt. Grandpa Periwinkle, you mustn't let Swanya rule Pelican Land. <laughs> what else can we do? We borrowed the corn from Swanya and we have to pay it back. You know, we pelicans have a reputation for honesty. I've done a little detective work, Grandpa, and I'm going to see if I can't find that corn that vanished. And I'll help you, young man. Why, with my knowledge of this country, I can show you every place where to look. Lord I Chancellor, who besides Grandpa Perry would go as a key to this vault? Why, His Excellency and I have the only keys that I know of, young man. Whoever took the corn must be extremely clever. Ah, uh, it would take more than cleverness to break into the vault. And besides, the vault door wasn't broken. The vault was locked when Grandpa showed it to me. Say, I just remembered. There is one other key to the vault. The keeper of the dungeon has kept that key, and I'm pretty sure he may have it. I'll take you to him. Perhaps he can explain where he was when the corn disappeared. If he can't, we'll have him. Hmm. That's odd. He doesn't seem to be here. You stay here and I'll look. Hmm. Oh! Oh, I slipped. Hmm, then I'm afraid I locked the door. Oh, I'll have to go get the keeper of the dungeon so he can let you out. Why, Patty? What in the world are you doing down here? I thought you were out trying to find that bushel of corn. I got locked in here by accident, and the Lord I Chancellor went to find the keeper of the dungeon to get the key to unlock the door. Why, there is no keeper of the dungeon, Patty. Well, we haven't kept anybody down here for years. But the Lord Chancellor has a key. Grandpa Perry, they go. I have an idea that the Chancellor did something with that corn, and I'm going to find out. I'm going to stay in this cell from now, and, and you give me your key so that I can unlock the door and come upstairs any time I want to. Say, I'm sorry, young man, but I haven't been able to find the keeper of the dungeon yet. But don't worry. He'll be back before long. And whatever you do now, don't let Grandfather know that you got locked in the dungeon. <laughs> Just keep quiet and wait. He doesn't know I'm following him, and I believe he's heading towards the river. Maybe the corn is hidden at the river's edge. It is! And he's loading it into the boat. Oh, I better do something about this in a hurry. Hey, stop that! Stop that! You're the one who took the corn. No wonder you wanted me to stay in the dungeon. You won't get away. Come back here. Stay away from that boat. I'll get you if I have to chase you clear to the end of the river. Whoa, that was a close call. I don't think he can catch me. But I had to leave without the corn. That makes me mad. The only way to catch him is to fly. Maybe, maybe if I camouflage myself, it'll work. I'll take this cloth. It's the same color as the sky. That'll, that'll do it. He'll never be able to see me. I'll swoop down on him. I guess he's given up. I don't see any sign of him. Oh, my. You! How did you get here? How did you get here? Never mind how I got here. Just give me those doors. I'm taking you back to Pelican Land. You have a lot of explaining to do. Why, why, you're not a pelican at all. You're a swan. You've been wearing an imitation beak. You're nothing but a spy. Oh, please, please don't, please don't be too harsh with me, young man. I was just trying to help swan you get the better of Pelican Land. You're going to carry back every sack of this corn to the vault, and don't complain about being too tired either. Because now that you have this back in the vault here, you're going to carry all of it down to the Pelican Land ship to be delivered to Swanya. Patty? 
I'm mighty proud of you, son. If it hadn't been for your quick thinking, why, why, there's no telling what might have happened to us. Hi there, boys and girls. Patty's good friend, Big Jack Horner, is broke as all the plums have been cornered. With no plums for his baking, his tummy is aching for plums to put in his pie. You must sell me your crap of plums. My business is making plum pies, and if I can't get plums, I'll be ruined. Land sakes, Mr. Horner. How can I sell you plums when I don't have any? Uh, but somebody must have plum crop somewhere. It's been the same story, no plums this year. Ever since I found a plum in my Christmas pie as a little boy, I worked to become the plum pie king of Storyland, and I built up a fine business, but if I don't have some plums soon, I'll be ruined, I will. Well, I know where there are plenty of plums, but they're in a distant part of Storyland called uh, Plum Valley. The uh, Plum Valley? That's odd. I never heard of such a place. Uh, how do you explain that? Well, uh, nobody ever goes to Plum Valley. Lots of people have gone into the place, but nobody ever comes out. That's the trouble, you know. But if it's possible to get into the valley, it's certainly possible to get out. I'm going to go there and buy all the plums, but first I'll call a fatty pelican. Well, I can give you some good advice on Plum Valley, Jack. Stay away from the place. The plum trees are thick, but the mountains are as slippery as if they've been creased. Uh, well, Patty, I'm going to Plum Valley anyways, and I'm coming home with enough plums to keep my pie business going. Holy doodle, Jack, not so fast. I'll go with you and help you if you get into any trouble. Now, this is one of Plum Valley's mountains, Jack. When you get to the top, you'll see more plum trees than you've ever seen in your whole life. Oh, God, boy, well, I'll be the, the greatest plum pie baker in Storyland, I will. On a scientist, careful, Jack. The road is slippery, and it's mighty steep. Don't worry, Patty. I'll keep the truck in low gear so it can't pick up much speed. Holy total, it's already skidding, Jack. Stop before it's completely out of control. No, I can't stop, Patty. The road is as slippery as was covered with grease. Well, so long, Jack. I'm getting out while I can. I have a feeling you're going to need some help. So long. Oh, I'm lucky I didn't hit anything. Well, 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 a newcomer. We don't have many visitors, but most people stay away from my valley. The people who do come, they like it here. At least they never leave. Now, why did you come here? Uh, I, uh, I come here to, to buy myself a truckload of plums. I did, and I got lots of money here. And remember now, I'll see you later. Now, do what I told you. I'll see you later. My new subject, Jack Horner, will probably attempt to get away again, so I'd better make sure that he can. Ah, uh, she's heading for the mountains. It's something mighty peculiar going on. <laughs> With a fresh coat of oil spray down the mountains, he won't have a chance to get away. This oil has suddenly come in handy. Wow, oil. It must be the largest oil well in the world. Now, hey, stop that. Turn it off! You shouldn't waste oil. It's much too valuable. Valuable? Why, everybody left Plum Valley years ago because the oil ruined the plum crop. But it's valuable to me because it makes people stay here. When the mountains are oily, they can't get away. Now don't you try to interfere. I'll turn this hose on you. That's what I'll do. And if your wings get coated with oil, you won't be able to fly. You come back here. If you tell my secret, I'll boil you in oil. That's what I'll do. Oh, that's it. That's the lucky got away. At least he didn't dare stop to tell my subjects how I keep them here. No, he didn't. Get 
Carter! Jack Carter, wake up! Hurry up, I flew out in the valley and I got help. Now hurry up before the queen makes trouble. Hurry up now, there they are. Okay, fellas, I'll load the gravel now. Come on. All right, all right, Jack. With all that gravel on the road, you'll be able to get out of here. Oh, I bet this was your idea, you wretched little pelican, but it won't work. I can still make the road slippery. Stop, stop, stop. Let me explain. You're wasting all that valuable oil. When I get through with you, you'll wish you had minded your own business. Oh, oh, save me. Oh, I'll drop the oil pin and off. Oh, you win, I give up. Oh, <laughs> you've ruined everything. All my subjects will follow Jack Corner. But you won't need to force people to stay here anymore. It's worth millions, all that oil. But I'm gonna leave now. I wanna go home and get cleaned up, you see? I don't like being this kind of an oily bird. <laughs>